Pluto is a far-off and puzzling planet, which was once an individual from our nearby planet's social gatherings and planetary family. Anyway, progressing upsetting declarations by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning openness. They propose that this cold world is on a potential serious impact course with Neptune. Yet how is it that this could end up working, and what may be the outcomes of such a tremendous occasion? Are we seeing a charming, colossal, difficult-to-miss event? Or is there something else to this advancing toward immense mishap? Join us as we look at the potential results of a Pluto-Neptune influence. Pluto, a former planet that was cut back to a dwarf planet, primarily due to its erratic orbit, remains a subject of interest and study in the grandiose community. As shown by late gauges by leading investigators, Pluto's orbit is perilously close to Neptune's. Leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potentially dangerous crash between these two planets, which could represent a huge risk to Earth. But how is such an event even conceivable? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our close-by planet group. It requires a stunning 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. Yet the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its exceptionally curved shape, veering off significantly from the almost round orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more bizarre is its inclination, shifted at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows is much steeper compared to the other planets. This inclination and eccentricity add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. One of the most intriguing parts of Pluto's orbit is its combination with Neptune's. For nearly 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, conflicting with what we may expect from their positions in the solar system. This leads to the common question, why hasn't Pluto slammed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational impacts of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery. Initially, astronomers tried to figure out its surprising path. Unlike other planets whose orbits lie fairly close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stood out with its steep inclination and elliptical shape. The mystery grew with the realization that Pluto's orbit indeed crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amid these complexities is evidence of the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves determining how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on one another. In Pluto's case, this problem shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all interact in a complex way. The terms Amal libration and degree libration, along with the VZK oscillation, are key parts of this enigma. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is Amal libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is situated roughly 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from intersecting. Degree libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned well above their orbital plane, offering an additional layer of protection from potential collisions. Another key element of this situation is the VZK oscillation, named after three scientists Bond, Zippel, and F who studied how objects move in space. It refers to how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on one another with their gravity. This gravitational pull influences how they move. For Pluto, the VZK helps us understand why its orbit around the Sun is so distinct. Despite Pluto's orbit seeming chaotic, this oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly for extended periods. The VZK oscillation shows that even when things in space seem wild and random, certain patterns and rules maintain some control. These factors help keep Pluto's orbit stable, ensuring it doesn't crash into Neptune or drift off course. This three-body problem helps us understand how these forces change based on how these space objects pull on each other. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and distant worlds and their stars. 
mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite these stabilizing properties, Pluto's orbit is, in fact, turbulent with slight deviations in initial conditions leading to enormous differences over centuries. However, these exceptional properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over extremely long timescales, effectively checking the chaos. Later computer simulations helped us understand how the giant planets, like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, impacted Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto, in which for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit predictable. However, Neptune isn't alone in this. Jupiter's gravity also plays a crucial role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit. In fact, Jupiter's gravity alone is enough to ensure Pluto remains on a steady path for many years, even billions of years. So, it appears that Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to make sure Pluto continues to move safely through space without running into trouble. These idiosyncrasies are crucial in the broader context of the universe, maintaining control and consistency in celestial bodies' movements. Without these factors, our nearby planetary system would be a much wilder and more turbulent place. Bodies like Pluto could collide with others or be ejected from their stable orbits, leading to impacts on other celestial bodies. For Pluto, especially with discussions about it potentially colliding with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is essential. It gives us a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the solar system. The case of Pluto shows how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of balance through the complex interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also underscores the importance of constant observation and analysis of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often forces us to confront the whimsical nature of celestial bodies and Pluto's orbit is an ideal representation of this whimsy. The concept of orbital tumult, which refers to the delicate dependence of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions, is strikingly illustrated in the case of Pluto. This means that even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or speed can dramatically alter its long-term orbit. Using computer simulations has been incredibly helpful for scientists to figure out how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use advanced mathematics to show how Pluto and other space objects, like Neptune, pull on each other. By adjusting small details in the simulations, astronomers can see how even minor changes can make a huge difference in where Pluto ends up. In the late 1980s, these simulations revealed something very interesting about Pluto's orbit. Despite having factors like a mall and degree libration to keep it stable, its path can still be chaotic and eccentric. If you start with just a small difference in where Pluto is or how fast it's moving, over many years its orbit can end up looking very different. However, despite this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable for extended periods, like billions of years. This means Pluto's journey around the Sun has some order to it, even though it may seem chaotic at first. Predicting future events, especially when they involve unstable orbits like Pluto's, presents significant challenges. The inherent unpredictability of these systems means that long-term predictions are often filled with uncertainties. While mathematical simulations provide a solid means to understand and predict the future behavior of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limitations of our forecasting abilities. These models rely heavily on the accuracy of initial conditions and the complexity of the interactions they simulate. Any slight error or distortion can lead to vastly different outcomes making precise predictions a daunting task. Furthermore, the chaotic nature of celestial orbits like Pluto's reminds us of the ever-evolving and dynamic nature of the universe. While we've made great strides in understanding space, the case of Pluto serves as a reminder of how our knowledge of the universe is still limited. Understanding the gravitational effects of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the position of each planet can significantly influence the stability and trajectory of other bodies within the system. So, why are prominent astrophysicists only now raising concerns about a possible crash between Pluto and Neptune? Despite all these complex forces working to prevent such an event, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a well-known astrophysicist and a key figure in advocating cosmology, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of our solar system 
especially the captivating case of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in renaming Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, provides insightful commentary on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's fascination with the dark realms of space. Tyson's stance on Pluto's renaming is rooted in our growing knowledge of our solar system. He views the renaming not as a demotion but as an important shift in our understanding of the various bodies orbiting our sun. His approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and adaptation. He sees the complexities of orbits like Pluto's as a sign of how much more there is to discover in space. The interest in these questions, particularly the potential interactions between Pluto and Neptune, highlights the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of our solar system. His work emphasizes that the more we uncover about space, the more questions arise, driving us to explore further and refine our understanding of the universe. Michio Kaku, another eminent physicist and futurist, offers a different yet complementary perspective on the mysteries of space, focusing on the often whimsical forces that shape our universe. Kaku is known for his ability to connect complex scientific ideas with cutting-edge visions, making him a significant voice in discussions about celestial mechanics and the broader implications for humanity. Kaku's views on Pluto and its orbit underscore the need for continuous observation and advanced modeling to predict and understand potential cosmic events. He sees the interactions between celestial bodies as a crucial area of study, not only for academic curiosity but also for practical implications. The potential crash between Pluto and Neptune, for instance, is not just a hypothetical scenario. It's a reflection of the dynamic and often turbulent nature of space. Kaku's futurist outlook encourages us to consider the broader consequences of such events, from their impact on our understanding of the solar system to the possible need for future space interventions. His perspective highlights the importance of being prepared for the unexpected in space. His work suggests that the more we understand the forces at play, the better prepared we will be to navigate and possibly mitigate the effects of cosmic events. Both Tyson and Kaku's views converge on the idea that space is a domain of limitless discovery and that our current understanding, while significant, is still limited. Their emphasis on the need for ongoing research and advanced modeling reflects the evolving nature of space science. They highlight the importance of not just understanding celestial mechanics as they are today, but also predicting how they may change in the future. The potential impact between Pluto and Neptune serves as a case study for the broader challenges and opportunities in space exploration. It underscores the need for thorough scientific inquiry, advanced technology, and a willingness to adapt our understanding as new information emerges. For Tyson and Kaku, the mysteries of space, exemplified by Pluto's orbit, are a rallying point for the scientific community and humanity at large to keep pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. There is a general scientific consensus that, for years to come, the orbits of Pluto and Neptune will remain stable due to their mean motion resonance and the various gravitational forces acting on them. Therefore, a direct crash between Pluto and Neptune is highly unlikely. However, the complexities and potential subtleties in orbital elements suggest that astronomers should continue to monitor and study these celestial bodies to better understand their long-term behavior and any potential risks they may present. While the likelihood of a Pluto-Neptune impact remains mostly speculative and considered improbable with our current understanding, it highlights the importance of continuous study. Furthermore, advances in technology, including more advanced telescopes and virtual simulations, will help astronomers refine their models and predictions, ensuring we remain in tune with the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our solar system. Tyson's perspective on Pluto's renaming and Kaku's emphasis on the erratic nature of celestial mechanics both stress the need for continuous evaluation and an adaptable understanding of our universe. The potential crash scenario, while addressing the dynamic and complex interactions within our planetary system, ultimately reminds us of the vast yet still unclear areas in our understanding of space. Through continuous research and observation, we strive to unravel these mysteries ensuring that our understanding keeps pace with the ever-evolving universe.